With the new Studio project panel improvements, we've implemented a collection of features that will enhance the way you can manage, organize, and navigate through your projects in Nuke Studio. When you launch Nuke Studio and open a project, you'll see that your timeline will now have colors assigned to different project items by default. These colors are set in your Nuke Studio preferences under the Project Items section and are fully customizable. When opening the Project Items Preference panel, you can see we've added even more options for controlling the colors in your project. The Shade Project Items feature allows you to add a nice shading effect to clips, and the item labels allow you to change the text color for the project bin and timeline. Item States contains all the different states your clip items can switch between and are the main colors you will notice by default when launching Studio. The Item Color section also allows you to customize how items such as bin items, sequences and source clips appear in your project tab and allow for a clear organization of items in your bin. The file type section allows you to specify specific colors for file types, making it really easy to distinguish between your media on the timeline, or even allow the possibility of setting automizations to occur based on the clip color for specific formats. You can also assign a color override to any clip. To do so, simply right click on a clip in a bin, and in the color menu, select your desired color from the color picker, or alternatively use the color picker icon next to the search bar. You can pull from a list of recent colors, which will persist through sessions, or even clear the color override to return to the default project item color. We have also added a new column to the spreadsheet, so you can view and sort your spreadsheet based on clip item colors. If you wish to work on a clip going from your timeline to your node graph, then colors will persist across workspaces and allow for consistency between the UIs. Clip colors also support versioning, so when you switch between versions, the clip item will update to the color you've set. This will be a great use to anyone working with version management and wants to assign specific colors to whether a shot is new, in progress, or has been approved. All of the custom color features are accessible via the API, meaning you can extend this functionality to fit your needs as a user and develop new workflows. We have also added more control over poster frames in Studio. This will allow users to more easily update the image you see on clip items to a frame that is more informative of what the clip actually is. To update the poster frame, simply select the clip or clips in the project bin, right click and under the set poster frame menu choose from one of the four options. Changing a clip's poster frame by the absolute setting will allow you to choose a specific frame, whereas using the relative setting will allow you to choose a poster frame based on a frame offset of the clip's frame range. The search functionality on the project bin and on the spreadsheet have been improved with new options to search using all or any of the keywords that you input and an option to specify whether you search with metadata or not. Simply use the drop down menu next to the search bar to determine the filter you would like to search by and enter the keywords you wish to search for. We have introduced a new way to arrange your project bin alphabetically or by custom order. This is accessible by the new buttons at the top of the project bin and has controls for the hierarchy view and on the bin view independently.